Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American expat. I'm uh, out and about because I wanted to go outside before apparently there's some more severe weather coming our way. I know some of you have been experiencing the uh, severe weather. I was wondering if that meant it was coming here <laughs> today. Uh, a shout out to uh, Southern Boy Prepper. I saw you got stuck in a business without power under lockdown, I guess, as the storm was bearing down on you. Hopefully you guys are all right. There's so many people that uh, are part of the community here that I also catch their videos. I have one in particular that I want to bring up, Joe Morgan. Saw he had a car crash. If you're not familiar, I, I uh, check out pretty much every video that he puts up. You can check him out too. He's, uh, yeah, he had a car accident. And, excuse me, the incident reminded me of a catalyst, a catalyst event, I'll call it, that uh, led to my going back to China and you know a completely different direction of my life i've kind of touched around that uh here and there on the channel as uh, part of the reason why i went to china but i thought i'd share that with you all since um, and thanks to joe morgan for reminding me you guys should go check out his channel it's um, now you know sometimes uh i i don't mind of course you know the, the language thing but uh and i'm not meaning he speaks a different language well maybe to some of you it's a different language but uh it's more uh, colorful language, we'll call it that, than probably some of you are used to. Some of you are used to it. Just, just the same, go check it out. It's, um, there's always something there. I, I feel like you should be on there. Anyway, I'm gonna grab some caffeine and I'll get into my own car crash story and what it led to here in just a second, so stick around. Thanks for sticking with us. I am now stopped at the park. Ah, I promise I'll get onto the story here in just a second. I'm just watching these uh, skies get darker. The severe weather's not gonna hit now. That's just the uh, the clouds coming in. No, it's gonna wait until later when the temperatures are at like 73, 75 degrees, which if you know anything about that kind of weather, <laughs> it's the worst. Ah, man, I'm on this side of a cold front and then uh, on the other side of it is warm, moist air uh, with severe storms coming in. That uh, That's what uh, causes tornadoes. Kind of. I mean, I, okay. That's not... Uh, it's part of it. You can tell if you've been in places with tornadoes that that's what to look for. And uh, it just makes me think about everybody else who's already gone through this. Southern Boy Prepper. Again, I hope everything is already... I saw some posts on Facebook, so I'm assuming that uh, you came through it all right, that everybody's all right. But uh, if uh, you were in it and you had some experiences, again, I, I hope that everything's all right. I don't think it's gonna be as bad as last time, but uh, it still makes me nervous every time because of experiences in the past, which that's a story for another time. We're talking about a car accident this time around. So as I mentioned before, getting this uh, caffeine down here, Joe Morgan got into a car accident yesterday, at least as of the time of recording this, messed up his car, and uh, ended up with a ticket. And it reminded me of my experience prior to going back to China for a long period of time. Now at the time, my wife and I were back in the United States, and we were doing all right, but you know, it was always kind of a struggle at the time. You know, this was back during the, uh, I guess it was kind of like it is now. And, you know, we're trying to get by, and like I said, we're scraping by. And I had taken on a second uh, little job trying to do some deliveries and that sort of thing to get just a little bit of extra cash into the house. And at one point while doing that, some lady swerved and smashed at my car. So they, the, the way that the road was set up, there's like a divided highway and there's a space in the middle. Like, you know, nobody's gonna drive in there because there's ditches and then there's like a little roadway in between where you can go to make a turn. So I see the cars and I come across and I'm in the middle, you know, in that space where nobody should be. <laughs> and I'm uh, just looking at the other side of the road because I'm waiting to make a turn when all of a sudden I'm, my car is flying through the air. And uh, I, uh, you know, 
when it comes to us, it, it was bizarre. I don't know how to describe what it was like seeing that because, you know, it's like suddenly I'm flying through the air really, really fast. And it all happened really fast. So anyway, the car comes to a stop and I'm like, I must have gotten hit pretty darn hard because I, I went a long way and I was in a complete stop in the middle of this, uh, this thing. So I try to get out of my car. Door doesn't open. Door is smashed shut. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, yep, the damage is pretty bad. I go climb over, and this, keep in mind, is this little convertible car that I had at the time. I climb over, I get uh, out the passenger side. I look, and there's this lady in this giant black car wailing and screaming and all this stuff. And I'm, you know, looking at my car, and it's basically kind of folded, and there's this crease in it. And I'm like, yep, that's, that's toast. My car is completely destroyed, and uh, her car is completely destroyed, but she seemed to be okay. She's in a new car, you know, one that uh, is designed for this sort of thing. Anyway, the cop comes, and even though, you know, I was stopped in the middle of the thing, and I don't know what she was thinking, somehow I, I could see her tracks where they come into the grass and then into the place where I was, and then I can see the gouges from where... My car got hit and flew up, hit the, the, the road, and then flew off to where it was in the middle of this ditch. But the cop comes and he's like, nobody's at fault. Nobody, uh, you know, but I'm going to give you, and that was like, great. So my car just got smashed into oblivion. I have, you know, liability insurance because I didn't think it was worth it to put full coverage insurance on such an old car. It, it wasn't like a... A special car and I mean it was special to me it was you know a lot of fun driving it around but cars toast and uh, anyway I uh, I go I, I get back home and I'm in terrible pain you know like for a while I, I was able to go to the doctor I wasn't you know I didn't not go to the doctor but they're telling me like well I don't know you know it's uh, probably gonna be all right but uh, anyway after I recovered I'm already in this situation where we're barely scraping by. A car is gone. Job isn't so great. Nothing is looking all that great. My wife is really concerned about me. Uh, I just spent like a week lying on the couch because my back hurt so much if I even moved slightly. It was like somebody stabbing me in the back a whole bunch of times. But uh, yeah, the, the uh, situation got pretty depressing. And at that point, I started thinking back about, oh, China, you know, gosh, you know, I remember when I was in China things were so much different. There was a lot going on. I, I wasn't in this depressed job situation. Um, yeah. And anyway, it got me thinking. So I start looking at, uh, at jobs in China. This is the first time I went over there specifically for a job. I find this, uh, this job and I decided to pull the trigger and go over there. And that pretty much changed the, the entire direction of my life at that point. I mean, I'd already been there a bunch of times, but uh, this is this was the beginning of the longest period that I, I lived in China. It was after this happened. And it was because of a car accident, like what Joe Morgan went through. I, I hope you're doing all right, by the way, Joe Morgan, if you're watching this. Uh, and you do watch a lot of the videos. I hope you're doing all right. I, that's so... Uh, it just brings back memories of that, you know? Somebody smashes up your car... And then uh, the cops are just like, I, I don't know if it's because it's, uh, you know, the lady or whatever, which is terrible. It's not supposed to be that way. But then they're just like, well, you know, whatever. Nobody's, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, put anything on them. And so you're, you're left with nothing, a wrecked car and nothing to speak of. But uh, I know you're working hard over there trying to get things straightened out. I hope that it, uh, it works out. It worked out uh, for me in the long run. It was quite an adventure, of course, going over to China. The people I met, the things that happened. Oh, the rain is starting up. I don't know if you can see it on the window. Probably not because it's so blurred out by the way the lens is, the, uh, <laughs> the depth of field. Trying to be cinematic here, you know. Uh, hopefully you can still see me. I mean, it, yeah, it looks like the uh, exposure is still correct. But, um, yeah, what, a, what an experience. Never, uh, I'll never forget that. It was a good car, too. The most reliable car I ever had. And it got completely destroyed in an instant by someone. And then, yeah, to have that happen. But, yeah, it led me to leaving the country 
at that point and going a completely different direction. I suppose it could be a lesson for anybody else who is having a difficult time. You never know. You have to keep your mind open for what uh, what solutions there might be. It might not be what you expect. It might not be something right in front of you. For me, the solution to the problems that I was having ended up being in another country. But um, yeah, well, here comes the rain. I better, good thing I'm in the car. I, I was thinking about doing this out in the park, but now forget that. <laughs> <laughs> the rain's here. Ah, I better get back and edit this. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>